Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news. It's old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hey guys, my name is Happiness, and welcome to Rehash. Thank you, Happy Power, for submitting today's Rehash introduction. As per usual, if you guys are interested in being showcased on the awesome Rehash, make sure to open the description where you guys can submit a Rehash introduction. So oh. we have some news to type whatever. We do have a couple of news to type whatever we want to discuss with you, the Freedom Family, and of course amongst each other. Mm -hmm. The very first one I wanted to discuss is something that was brought to my attention by somebody who believed that they were a Freedom Partner. And we'll get into that in a second. There's a remix uh, done by us. Uh, Steph, 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 I don't know, uh, one, two, three, um, who recently took a very topical situation between uh, full screen and, um, and a creator and made a remix of it um, in a very nice display of um, fair use and just being funny in general. Well, it was just double, it was like almost a thousand views. Yeah. So, hey, if you guys want to go check it out, make sure to open the description. You guys can go watch the entire video in its entirety. Now, it's, it's pretty funny. The, the thing that I wanted to discuss about this, um, now this is an altercation between a creator and an MCN, and I don't want to highlight that um, fact. What I do want to highlight is um, the fact that um, this person created a good example of fair use about a video that was complaining about fair use not being upheld. Yeah. So it, it's, a, it's a really, I don't want to say irony, because it's not irony. I don't know. Irony is funny. Um, but it's a really good, odd situation to be in. And um, so, yeah, and as far as the thing that I said I'd get back to you about him thinking he was a freedom partner, um, he did tweet us and say, you know, hey, you know, I created this video, um, and at the end he says, you know, that, um, you know, he used music that he could have used because he was a freedom partner, but apparently he's with RPM. Really? You might want to check out your contracts there, bro! Oh. Alright, and you had a new type, whatever? Yes, so I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family and you, because we're all gamers, of course, about a gamer offering a $1,000 bounty for somebody trying to reproduce a glitch. Oh, what kind of glitch? Yeah, so in Super Mario 64, in the pretty old okay. game nonetheless, there is a warp where you can pretty much teleport up towards the ceiling. Now, I really didn't want to cover the glitch all that extensively, but I did want to mention, hey, if you guys do play Super Mario 64, make sure to go watch the video. If you guys can replicate the glitch, you guys can go into the game's code and actually figure out how the, the glitch was, you know, made. You get a thousand dollars. That's a thousand bucks. Yeah. Anyway, if you don't watch the video in its entirety, so nonetheless, he is very super hardcore into Super Mario. I, I knew when I had grown up playing it, never once did I, I get that hardcore where I would try to like offer thousands of dollars for glitches. Uh, who knows? Yeah. Um, yes. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. So if uh, if you're you know an awesome Super Mario type person and you want to uh, you know pick up a thousand bucks, go for yeah. it. Make sure to open the description as per usual. You guys can go watch the video and see if you can replicate it. All right, and then we have one more news type, whatever. Okay. At Gamescom 2015, Mo Yang or Mojang, depending on how you want to pronounce that, and what part of the world you're in, uh, says that they want Minecraft to work cross-platform. Now this is not huge news, as we did mention that it was part of the goal of. Um, with a Windows 10 port of Minecraft. Mm -hmm. um, currently, they're talking about having interoperability. It's a big word. Yeah. Interoperability um, between the mobile version and the Windows 10, and eventually the uh, the console version for Xbox. Um, but the the thing is, nobody mentioned PS4. Really? I wonder why. Microsoft. Get to talking! Oh, I mean, I honestly I love it. I mean, I, I played a lot of console and I'd always adore to be able to play with my PC friends. It just seems like it'd be like a huge issue. I mean, PC players would probably have to give up their huge unlimited worlds to the confined worlds of console. I'm not giving up my unlimited yeah, world. It, it just no. seems like there's going to be so many, you know, things that are going to yeah. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up all of the newsy type whatever that we have to discuss with you, the Freedom Family, today. Now we get to talk about... I don't know. The talky commenty thing of these. Yeah. Yeah. Comment number one comes from X O M G It's Derms. I think I got that right. You making fun of me I over there? Don't ever do it. Come on. Now. Okay. Um, he says so. You probably won't reply, but I'm on mobile and I can't unlink. I'm asking you to unlink me from your program, please. Now, I assume you mean as a partner, you'd like to leave. Unfortunately, this is something you do have to do yourself. Um, and you can do that by simply going to your panel on on PC and, and doing that. You don't. Um, I'm not sure how you would do it from mobile, but yeah. you can do that from any PC. 
And then you are the number two gunner! Yeah, so got my number two time thing. He comes from Viola Zero Username. Yeah, username. Yeah, just username. You guys can see it on the screen. Uh, she or she says Netflix is the best heart. And I, I do agree. I don't think it's a very good heart. I, yeah, I think it's I, a good it, heart. It, it could be a, a lot of great things. It's a great platform, but as a heart, like have to have Netflix as a heart? Yeah, exactly. And Netflix is one of my best friends. I love being able to go home at night, kick back, watch anything on Netflix that I haven't seen before, eat you know, junk food, and just go to bed. I like to supplement my Netflix with. Really? Yeah, because I get newer TV shows and stuff. Yeah, but I have Hulu too, but I mean, Netflix... Netflix is awesome! Netflix is awesome! Um, this is, a. Uh, We're gonna start a war now. We're gonna start a war. Oh, no. You comment war! Let us know what you believe. Do you, do you like Netflix? Do you like Hulu? Do you like to use the two together? It's like peanut butter and jelly. Personally, I like them together. Yeah, but they're both good separately as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Alright, now on to comment number three! Chris Tufer says... I like that name, by the way. Seriously. Uh, says... Is there any good graphic designers out there willing to produce free work? I need GFX for my friend's channel. It is possible to DM on Twitter and he gives us Twitter handle. Now here's the thing. First off, in the comments of YouTube videos is not the best place to ask for this. In fact, we've got a rather large community on the forums that does this kind of thing. Though, I would say this. Don't say it for free. Usually there is a little bit of tit for tat. You know, I'll produce graphics for you if you shout me out. I'll do this for you if you do that. That's the way we work together as a community and as a family. So, the answer is yes, but you may want to go ask over on the forums. They pretty much wraps everything up, right? Yeah. You don't have any, like, super bonus comments? You know what? I do have one extra. <gasps> oh, no! Really? It comes from D917. He says, hey, everyone. Okay! Hey! hey! Everybody in the comment section down below, say hey! Let him know he's loved! Alright, that pretty much wraps up that. Now we get to talk about the partner! Yeah! Let's do that thing! Thank you, Happy Power, as per usual, for submitting today's rehash introduction. We'll talk about it towards the end of today's episode. So, Happy Power is a GTA 5 YouTube content creator. Now, I can relate to this because when I started YouTube, I did GTA 5 content as well. Now, something I did want to mention is GTA 5 money glitches is looked at down by. It yes. is. Rockstar uh, has actually done a couple of sweeps where they've taken down money glitches because they lose money on it. Exactly. Because you can go to any like 7-Eleven or you know Walmart, GameStop, you can actually buy GTA money. Yeah. So careful. Yes. Yeah, so uh, apart from that, I mean, I, I do know that you do a lot of how-to tutorials, and and something that I, I see is when you do content like this, the retention rate is going to be very high. Obviously, people aren't going to watch half of the video and do half the glitch. They're going to watch the whole video. So you have a lot of potential to utilize your channel, but something that I would like to suggest is slow down a little bit when he's talking. I don't know if he's editing his voiceover and he's putting what I think it's called truncate silence, where it takes out all the pauses, but just slow down just a little bit in your tutorials. Sometimes you talk so fast that it's kind of hard to understand him or his words collide. You know, apart from that, the guy does really good on his channel. He has 3,700 subscribers. Wow! And he gets a few thousand views of video, great thumbnails, titles, everything's relevant. I mean, you're on the track to success. But as mentioned earlier, Anthony and I would suggest or advise against not doing money glitches. Um, also, I am, uh, in, while we were looking at your channel earlier, and we noticed a couple of your videos that uh, you skipped a thumbnail on. I'm not sure if that's a YouTube glitch, because I know sometimes they like to not post them, even though you, you make them and you put them up. Um, and then some of your older videos don't quite match your same style that you have now with your thumbnails and everything. Yeah. Um, if you have time, when you have time, update the older thumbnails. Um, if you find that you have some missed, go ahead and update them. Some people will tell you it's not worth your time. Yeah, I'm telling you it's totally yes, worth your time. Yes, because you can make them relevant again, and they can easily pick up views. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, I actually had an old series that uh, I all I did was I updated the thumbnails, and it was a series that was doing okay in search and related videos, and I got a bump of about 30% traffic. I was getting about uh, somewhere around a uh, thousand views per um, per day on the series on my old gaming channel, and I redid the thumbnails to look better and to be a little bit more relevant, and I ended up with about 1,300 views per day. On an old series, I didn't do anything with. So it just goes to show it's never too late to do that. So yeah. I agree. All right. Well, I guess that pretty much wraps up the partner. It's time to say goodbye. No, no, no. no. Before we do wrap okay, up, okay, okay. if you guys want to go check out Happy Power, make sure to open the description. 
of course, don't rip it. And go check out Happy Bauer and comment on his latest video. It is spamming. Ah, hashtag yes. rehash. Yeah, just let him know that he's been he's gotten the freedom family hug. You know that that's nice time. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. <laughs> Bye, Freedom Family. See you guys later. Never once was I that deep into Super Mario. So nonetheless, as mentioned earlier. Sounds like God's farting outside of Yeah, it's so fucking irritating. We didn't pick a costume. Never did. Crap.